What's up, everyone? This week's Champion Trends features Zed, Kogma, Kha'Zix, Rengar, Alistar, and Evelyn. I'm Lindsay Geektron with Zam Network, and this is LOL King's League Trends. Let's dive into Summoner's Rift. Increased pick rates this week feature Alistar, Zed, Misfortune, Ari, and Vayne. With the nerfs to mid laners like Orianna and Lulu, other champions have room to shine. The Master of Shadows, for the most part, is able to outfarm and outpoke nearly any opponent in mid lane. And once he hits level 6, he has burst potential to kill almost anyone. His ultimate, Death Mark, and Living Shadow give Zed incredible mobility. Equals outplayed enemy. But the mid game is where he shines the brightest. Squishy targets are easy prey, and he's able to pick them off before they can run screaming in the opposite direction. And it's not just the squishies that are easy for Zed to delete. Immobile carries like Kogma are also easy pickings. Towards the late game, the split pushing side of Zed comes out, and he becomes really annoying as he can duel nearly anyone who tries to stop him. Because of the new damage reduction on Exhaust, we will be seeing more champions like Zed, Ari, and Syndra who all have burst and catch potential. Champs on the decreased pick rates include Gragas, Maokai, Sona, Kassadin, and Kogma. The Mouth of the Abyss received some heavy nerfs recently, including lower base movement speed and lower base health. The biggest hit came to his ultimate. Living Artillery had its extra damage reduced from 125% to a mere 100%. This tweak was mostly aimed at curbing the enthusiasm for AP mid-cog, which was exploding in Asia. Why was this a problem? Typically, with AP Kog'Maw, the idea is to increase his mana pool so that his abilities become more spammable. Living Artillery starts off at the cost of 40 mana, but is increased by 40 every time you cast it, capping off at 400. With the huge mana pool and blue buff, AP Kog'Maw can poke his enemies down for quite some time. Don't worry NA and EU, AD Kog'Maw is still very viable, keeping in mind his reduced damage on his ulti. We will likely still see him dominate on the Rift for some time. Champs on the increased win rates list this week are Kennen, Vladimir, Singed, Thresh, and Kha'Zix. Just like what's going on in the mid lane, nerfs to jungle champs like Eve, Lee Sin, and Elise have allowed the return of other junglers. The bug is back again, and this time it's because players have been leveling him a bit differently than before. Void Spikes, his W, allow for fast clear and poke, which is now the priority. You can poke down your enemy, and then leap from the bushes like a terrifying jungle monster and finish him off. Rushing Spirit of the Elder Lizard as the core damage item to Kha'Zix is usually followed up by a Brutalizer. The Void Reaver gains his Power Spike after these items, which will then allow you to burst down almost any target you see. Building a Last Whisper or Black Cleaver helps you scale and cut through any armor the opponents have. Top him off with a Guardian's Angel, Randuin's Omen, or even a Banshee's Veil, and good luck facing off against him. Again. Decreased win rates include Rengar, York, Kogma, Kassadin, and Gangplank. Like Kogma from earlier in the show, Rengar has been performing crazy good in the Asian regions with nearly a 100% pick ban rate. Meanwhile, he's been getting a lot of hate in the Western regions due to players' poor performance with this kitty between the NA and EU LCS. With the recent nerf to his ultimate's cooldown, it may be harder to find the Pride Stalker anywhere on the Rift. Rengar has a relatively slow jungle clear, and his early ganks are risky. Since he doesn't have a reliable escape, landing skill shots are vital. After level 6, he can use his ultimate to engage from a distance, and with his CC and burst from his combo, he's more likely to secure kills for his team. Expect to see less of Rengar stalking around in solo queue. Increased ban rates this week include Alistar, Maokai, Nidalee, Zed, and Talon. The Minotaur, in a few patches, has gone from unplayed support to one of the most contested top laners. Let's take a look at how that happened. He has sustain and tankiness to survive most laning phases. Unlike other top laners, he does better in team fights rather than split pushing. His ultimate, Unbreakable Will, gives him 70% damage reduction for 7 seconds. This allows top Alistar to rush a damage item like Rod of Ages or a Triforce. When Alistar hits his mid-game spike with his damage item, he becomes quite scary. Like Mad Cow Disease, he will run through your team and take out enemies one by one. Along with Nidalee and Maokai, the Minotaur is considered one of the best top laners in the current meta. He doesn't dominate a lane like Nidalee would, he just scales well and ends up being an unkillable wall, like Maokai. 
Alistar is also great in the support role, particularly if there's a lane swap and he's allowed to roam free. Those mind games and champs alike though. We will continue to see Alistar being a highly contested pick for some time to come. Finally, the decreased ban rate this week lists Cassidan up first, with Evelyn, Gragas, Lulu, and Braum rounding it out. Those Evelyn nerfs recently have really tamed the Widowmaker. In spite of the reduced damage, she was played in the recent EU LCS playoffs as well as the OGN finals. And don't worry, Eve still has her stealth passive to apply global pressure in the early game. Pre-nerfs, Evelyn could hit level 3 with double buffs faster than any other jungler, which she then capitalized on with early ganks. But now her early clear is slower due to her reduced damage. But don't get ahead of yourself. If she's fed, she can still snowball into the old Eve we all know and love. Only now, she's been changed from early game assassin to a late game initiating tank. She also combos super well with other invisible champions like Twitch and Rengar to make catches at all stages of the game. But also like Rengar, it'll be harder to see Evelyn on the rift in the coming weeks. And that's not because of her invisibility. Poor Eve. And that's all for this week's show. Please be sure to check back every week for the latest League of Legends picks, bans, and win rates. Please be sure to like and comment below, especially if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, lolking.net, for more great content. I'm Lindsay Geektron. You can follow me on Twitch at Lindsay Geektron. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.